grandpa. And so who is this again? I'm sorry. I, you'll have to repeat Flor it because I missed it. Lawrence Florence, and she was a sister to my mother. Oh, okay. And she married Everett Dulo. Okay. <clears throat> and then above her, who's that? That's Henry Overlord. That's my father. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Doesn't he look handsome there? Yeah. And this is his father-in-law, Owen Martin Kingry. <clears throat> and the funny thing about, oh, he looked tall enough. But he had the shortest little legs you ever saw. <laughs> and he would not, you don't want to hear all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're here for. <clears throat> he, he would not, he, my dad would not drive to Kokomo. So we'd go over and ride with Grandpa Kingry and go to my great-grandmother Ammon's home in Kokomo. <laughs> dad never drove at night either. And this is my mother, Bessie Ray Kingery Lord. Uh -huh. And she was special. She wanted to go to high school or college so badly she went to, had to board in Greentown to get her high school education, but then they couldn't afford to send her to college. Mm. You know? But she she was going to have one of her girls go, and I was it. <laughs> and this is my namesake, Zena, Zena Lucretia uh -huh. Ammon Kingery. Uh -huh. And she was real sweet. She died of cancer in her 50s, oh. the only one in our family <clears throat> besides Frank. Mm -hmm. And that's her son, <clears throat> only son, Charles Kingry, and he was an uh, osteopath, and he lived mostly in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay. And this is my Aunt Madge Lord, and she married Dad's brother, Charlie Lord. Okay, so she was your aunt twice? Twice, uh-huh. That's funny. <clears throat> now, what's that story? Well, when uh, Uncle Landa's daughter, Naoma... And Uncle Verlin's daughter, Weldine, and I all stayed with her a lot. We were very drama queens, and we'd want to have plays. And so they'd make me ask her for all of our costumes and everything because I was a double niece. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And I loved to stay with them. See, my mother had five children, and when the babies were born, we'd go stay with my Aunt Madge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But one summer I was with her, and I was supposed to go home on Saturday, and they decided to take me on Sunday, and I took all the clothes she had ironed for me and stuck them in the suitcase and started walking home, <laughs> and I got lost in the cornfield. <laughs> and she came for me, and she wouldn't let Will and Dean or Naoma laugh at me. <laughs> she was a special lady. She played the organ. Oh, okay. And when she, <clears throat> she worked like a man on the farm, but... When she moved to Greentown, she played the organ at the Christian church. Oh, okay. And they took me, Uncle Charlie raised the fine, purebred hogs, and he showed them in Indianapolis every year at the state fair. <clears throat> so they offered to take me one year. I thought, boy, I'll see the fair. I never got out of that building. <laughs> <laughs> we had to watch those all the time. Uh -huh. 